The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord Lord Christ. Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love, I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Christ. of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O God. And may I speak in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I would invite you to think about a time when you felt very much at home in your own skin, and you felt really happy and comfortable, and you were not at all shy with people around you. You were able to let your humor out and your craziness and your playfulness out. So think about a time when you really felt like, I'm all here today. You felt really alive. Everyone know one? And then I invite you to think about a contrasting time when you felt like, I'd better watch what I say. I'd better watch what I do. I had better watch my language. I had better be careful not to make that joke. If someone will get offended, I would better just kind of fade into the background to where you felt like you were just not all there. Everyone got one of those? I suspect we've all experienced both. I hope we've all experienced the first one. I'm pretty confident we've all experienced the second one. The difference is when we know we are loved, we are set free to become who we really are. When we know we are loved, we are set free to become who we really are. My guess is that that second category, you were with people that you didn't know very well, or maybe you were new, or there were people that you sensed didn't really like you, or you sensed that they had different sensibilities than yours, and you had a feeling it would be very easy to say or do the wrong thing. When we're not loved, we pull back. When we're not loved and appreciated as we are, we don't get to come out 
that sets you free from those constraints and allows you to shine forth as the person God made you to be. Love makes possible freedom and being our true selves. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. This is the second week we're meditating on Jesus' final discourse about love in the Gospel of John. The Father loved me. God the Father gives to God the Son the eternal word, that kind of love that allows us to flourish, the kind of love that brings us fully alive in complete joy, the kind of love where we know we're accepted. And when you feel that kind of love, you begin to see yourself not in a self-doubting way of, gee, maybe I'm not very likable, or I'm not very smooth, or I'm not very cool, or whatever, and instead think, wow, I'm worth something. Someone sees something worthwhile in me. The Father gives that in the relationship to his Son within the Holy Trinity. And as the Father has loved me, Jesus says, so I have loved you. I've loved you the same way. And that is what makes it possible for us to become fully alive in God's presence as it ought to be.
choose not just to love out of self-giving, but out of a true mutual friendship. How many of you really think of yourself as being a friend of Jesus Christ, a friend of God? I, 63 years in, I find it very difficult. I think of myself as a servant, an employee, um, a follower, a disciple, someone who's learning, but do I really think I'm his friend or he's my friend? That's still hard for me. I still have my tough Roman Catholic upbringing where I was told that I was in trouble a lot. And here this idea that
this part of the world. But I think right now the world as a phenomenon, not the earth, is really going down a very dangerous path. It's been led by a very corrupting spirit. We are called to listen to the Holy Spirit. And that doesn't mean sleeping our differences under the rug. It means experiencing them differently. Experiencing them first and foremost by centering in the love of God that comes to us in Christ Jesus. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. For there is no greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And you are my friends. Friends, let us walk together with the Lord, who is our friend. Amen.